two more finalists to go. Discovery Education 3M Young Scientist Challenge 2017. Two more finalists. Let's bring out one of those two from Seattle, Washington. Let's welcome Simone. Hello. How are you feeling? Pretty good. All right, that is for you. Thank you. Good luck, have fun. Hi, I'm Simone Jacobs. I'm 13 years old and I live in Seattle. I entered the Discovery Education 3M Young Scientist Challenge with an electronic laser tennis racket. I had fun working on it, but for the final challenge, I wanted to address a more urgent problem and create something that might one day save lives. So three months ago, I started working on Sill Sentry. While babysitting younger children, I've had one recurring safety concern. And after talking to parents, I found that they shared this concern as well. Window safety. According to a 2015 report from Safe Kids Worldwide, 3,300 children ages five and under are injured each year as a result of falling from a window. I looked into current window safety technology, which consists of window stops and window bars. Window bars require being drilled into the window frame, which isn't allowed in most rented spaces. Many homeowners also find window bars visually unappealing. Window stops interfere with view and airflow, and both solutions slow down window opening, which not only is annoying to users, but can block escapes in the event of a fire. My hypothesis was that an automatically deploying net can be superior to current window safety technology. I came up with this list of requirements for SIL Sentry to, meet, to achieve superiority. At first, I wanted to create an electronic device, but then I read that over half of failures in smoke detectors were due to missing or disconnected batteries. SIL Sentry had to be much more reliable than this, so I decided it had to be 100% mechanically powered. I wasn't very familiar with mechanical engineering, so I went back hundreds, even thousands of years in mechanical development looking for inspiration. The lever, the telescoping umbrella, the mousetrap, and the ratchet were all aspects that I included in my design. Installing sill sentry is easy. Slide the two halves to the length of your windowsill and attach it using a removable 3M adhesive. Now, in only two steps, sill sentry is installed and ready to be deployed. Now let's say a child starts climbing on the windowsill, inevitably applying pressure on the pressure plate. When pressure is applied, the latch is opened and the arms swing out in an upward motion, swinging from outside of the window inwards as to nudge the child back inside the window if they're already partly out. When sill sentry is no longer needed, it can be collapsed and reused. This slow motion demonstration shows the current path of the booms. Many things have been changed since then, but the path of the booms has stayed the same. In conclusion, all of the requirements were met, so an automatically deploying net can be, have significant advantages over current window safety technology. I achieved zero maintenance using removable 3M adhesives, which allowed for easy installation and removal. It also avoided damage to the window frame. The path of the booms allowed sill sentry to be used in a variety of window types. It was low cost, around $50, and would be much lower in a production setting. Sill sentry also had a small footprint and enclosure, which didn't interfere with view or window functionality. As you can see, I started out with a wooden enclosure and then later on changed to a steel enclosure. I also used larger, bulkier components. As you can see, I transitioned from nuts and bolts to VHB tape, which you can see on early versions compared to current components. VHB tape allowed me to eliminate the um, dangerous and protruding edges of nuts, bolts, and rivets. Now for a live demonstration. <laughs> when pressure is applied to the plate, the latch is open and the booms are deployed. Technical difficulties. Okay. So for next steps, I'd like to reduce the size, simplify the reset procedure, explore other applications such as baby gate replacement or pet safety, um, and T do further testing for durability and usability. Um, 
The current version is really a proof of concept, so I would like to find better um, parts to make a more reliable version. Thank you to my parents for um, helping me get to where I am today, my mentor for inspiring me from start to finish, and 3M and Discovery Education for this wonderful opportunity to explore and learn. Thank you. So good job, Simone. Uh, I have a question about uh, your device. I know that you probably couldn't obviously practically test with a baby or something of that sort. But uh, have you checked on like how, I guess, durable your net is, how much weight it could potentially hold and whatnot? Yeah, so this prototype is pretty much a proof of concept. So that would be my next prototype would include stronger and lighter parts. Um, I did not do any testing on this current prototype. Really fascinating product, Simone, so well done on that. Uh, yeah, that was my question. So <laughs> instead, can you tell us a little bit about how your mentor uh, was involved in the process of this? Yeah, so he really helped bounce ideas off and create um, more fully formed design ideas. Um, at first, I said that I wanted to create like a mouse trap for babies. And to that, he sort of like smiled and helped me um, find a more realistic design. Um, so he's helped me create uh, this prototype, which is more usable than some of my earlier ideas. So I can clearly see there's a, a need or an opportunity for this. Um, how do you envision ultimately looking at this from a marketing perspective? Um, so I would, uh, you mean for like where it would be applied in real world situations or? Yeah, how would you actually test it with whoever the end users might be to see what the market opportunity might be? Yeah, so once I have a more safe prototype that might not explode springs at children, um, I would like to test in a safer environment with um, qualified experts. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate your whole concept around safety. Now, one of the things in 3 we always think about innovative solutions. And I was thinking, what would happen if you put a motion sensor on there and that was a different type of net? Could I catch big fish? <laughs> Theoretically, you could. Um, I didn't want to include any motion sensors or anything that um, might result in uh, less uh, um, and less uh, reliability. Um, so I worked with mostly mechanical components. Simone, beautiful, really, really well done. Um, can you talk a little bit about where your biggest challenge occurred in as you were moving through? You, start, you talked a little bit about the materials you were using. Can you elaborate on where your biggest challenge was? Yeah, so I hadn't done any mechanical engineering, so it was kind of um, hard for me to figure out where I needed um, different parts. Um, so it was really interesting to try to find uh, the correct devices that I can even salvage parts from. For example, um, I found telescoping umbrellas that I recycled the shaft into, as you can see here. Um, so yeah, finding the correct parts and um, figuring out how to install them was probably the hardest part. So I wonder, um, how doing this project and going through this process and working with mentors and doing all the research and learning about mechanical engineering, how has it shaped what your future goals are and where you want to go, not necessarily with this project, but with, with your education and, and, and what you want to kind of do in the next 10 years? Yeah, so I didn't have a lot of experience with mechanical engineering, as I've said before. So this experience has really taught me that um, through help of other professionals, such as my mentor, Jeffrey, um, it's possible to understand more of a subject. And if you apply yourself, you can really um, create anything that might be helpful in various situations. So um, this is, I would just want to, um, in the future, uh, follow whatever interests I might have. Um, I'm interested in the in the baby gate application because at your at your current price point, it seems like it could be very competitive. Have you given additional thought on what that might look like uh, with the with the next level of innovation? 
Yeah, so with current baby gates, you either have to unlatch them or in some cases just climb over them. Um, so I would create a way for either sill sentry in later prototypes would be much more compressed and small so that it could be just directly stepped over or create a track that it could slide to the um, edge and go up against the wall as well. You did a great job. I love the name of that, by the way. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Another round of applause.